Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be doing another update of Washington Dallas International Airport. Um, now every now and again I like to switch things up a bit and do a United um, update. So if you don't know, my model of Washington Dallas is based around concourse A and B, um, which is essentially both the concourses that United don't fly to. The other two concourses are C and D. Those are the concourses that are United. Um, but every now and again, um, I do like to switch things up and essentially pretend the concourses A and B are C and D. Um, so in this video, that is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be doing an update of just uh, Washington and Dallas concourses C and D, which is basically just United. Um, but it's been a while, um, there's a few different United things that I need to um, go over, the uh, kind of the operations of United at Washington Dallas. Uh, so with that, we are just going to go ahead and get started. Our first two aircraft here um, for this update are two of United's newest aircraft. Um, so here we have the United Airbus A321neo. Um, these are fresh into the United fleet. Um, and I believe these are primarily being operated out of Chicago O'Hare at the moment. I don't know if we've had one into Washington Dallas yet. Um, so this aircraft is going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Next, this aircraft isn't currently in operation with United, but it will be within the next few months. Uh, this is the United Boeing 737 MAX 10. This is the newest variant of the 737 MAX and the longest as well. Um, I don't know where these are going to be based when they're first put into the United fleet. Um, but this aircraft is going to be heading out to Houston Intercontinental in Texas. Following that, moving on to the Boeing 767s. Now, unfortunately, my 767-400s haven't made it in time for this update. I did order three of the new, well, actually, I ordered two of the NG 767-400s, and then I got one of the Gemini Jets. Uh, 767-400s all in the Evo blue color scheme um, because the 767-400s are operating a lot into Washington Dallas at the moment. I would even go as far to say they may possibly be the um, most frequently used wide body at Washington Dallas for United at the moment. Um, but of course, they didn't make it in time for this update. Um, so we've just got these 767-300s here. Uh, so this first one is going to be heading out to Geneva in Switzerland. And then this second one here is going to be heading out to Zurich also in Switzerland. Um, those two routes, the Switzerland routes, Geneva and Zurich, um, have pretty much reliably been on 767-300s recently. So um, that's where these aircraft are going to be heading out to. Uh, but the 767-400s operate to so many different destinations. Uh, they operate out to Honolulu in Hawaii, Sao Paulo in Brazil, so many different destinations over in Europe, so Barcelona, uh, London, Paris, um, you know, so many over Germany, uh, Italy, they go all over the place in Europe. So as soon as we get these 767-400s in these updates, um, we can start sending them out to, of course, all the places they're currently going. Um, but yeah, that is it for the 767s. Next up here, uh, this is an aircraft that we don't really see a lot of at Washington Dallas. Both the 787-9 and the Dash 10 don't really fly too much into Dallas anymore. I mean, they change things about so frequently um, that, you know, they come and they go, different types of aircraft. Um, but this 787-9 uh, um, is going to be heading out to uh, Athens in Greece. Uh, this route is currently being operated on a Dash 8, um, but I couldn't find uh, any routes uh, that were frequently being operated on the Dash 9 from Washington Dallas, but I still wanted to include it. Um, so this 787-9 is going to be heading out to Athens in Greece. Next up, we have United's largest aircraft. This is the Boeing 777-300ER. United ordered these as a replacement for their 747-400s. Um, so it's interesting that we are actually getting these into Washington Dallas because the 747s rarely flew into Washington Dallas. Um, but these are reliably operating two routes over to Europe. Uh, Frankfurt in Germany and Brussels in Belgium. Those are the two routes that the triple threes are currently operating from uh, Washington Dallas. So just picking one of them, this triple three is going to be heading over to Brussels in Belgium. Next up here, we have the United Boeing 777-200ER. And there is a big difference between the 200ER and the regular 200. 
And this one here is of course the 200ER. Uh, Gemini Jets released the 777-200 in the new United livery a few years ago. So I have uh, some of them in my collection, but so far we haven't had a release of the 200ER in the new color scheme. So this is the 200ER and the difference uh, between operations of the two types is the ERs are primarily being sent out to Europe and also they operate out to Tokyo as well. Um, so this aircraft is gonna be heading out to Tokyo in Japan. Um, but then the Dash 200s, the non-ER variants, are primarily operating uh, domestic service, high demand domestic service between United Hubs. Uh, we have one of them coming up um, in this update, so I'll get to that when I get to that. Next, moving over to some uh, regional stuff. Because these regional flights are a lot more frequent, I'm gonna be adding the um, inbound flights and the outbound flights uh, from these aircraft. So here we have this Embraer E175. Um, this aircraft has just arrived in from Norfolk in Virginia, and it's gonna be heading out to Indianapolis in Indiana. After that, we have another Embraer E175. This one has arrived in from Roanoke in Virginia, and it's gonna be heading out to Portland in Maine. And then last for the Embraers, here we have the Embraer E175 again. Uh, this one has arrived in from Savannah in Georgia, and it's gonna be heading out to Detroit in Michigan. Next, over here, we have a selection of RJs. Um, of course, these are the two RJs that uh, United are currently operating. On the left, we have uh, three CIJ-200s, and on the right, we have the CIJ-550s. Um, I believe United are still operating a few of these 700s, but if you don't know, the 550s are converted uh, 700s. So the 700 seat uh, more passengers than the 550s. Uh, the 550s operate a multi-class layout, which means that the 550s actually have the same capacity as the CRJ 200s. However, they're just so much nicer to fly. If you've ever flown a CRJ 200, they are terrible. As Western aircraft go, so Boeing, Airbus, uh, Embraer, and Bombardier, um, the CRJ-200 is probably the least comfortable aircraft to fly. Um, so yeah, so it's a lot nicer um, on the 550s than the 200. So hopefully a United, um, I don't know whether this is what they have planned anyway, that they will eventually retire their 200s and move over to uh, entirely 550s. I know that Delta have now retired their CRJ 200s. American initially retired theirs in 2020 and then brought them back due to demand. Um, so hopefully we get a retirement date for the United CRJ 200 soon. But the other regional aircraft we're missing here is the Embraer ERJ uh, 145. Um, so far we haven't had a release um, of an ERJ 145. I would love to get a release um, of that aircraft because they operate a lot into Washington Dulles. Um, and I think they look really good in the new livery with the new winglets as well that they've got on the uh, 145s. They look really good. So hopefully we get a release of that aircraft soon and I'll probably buy about five. Um, but yeah, getting into where these aircraft are coming and going to. Starting off with the CRJ 200s in the back there, the first one is arrived in from Dayton, Ohio, and it's going to be heading out to Albany in New York. Uh, second one down has arrived in from Charlottesville in Virginia, and it's gonna be heading out to Johnstown in Pennsylvania. And then the last one down, uh, we have this one, uh, which has just arrived in from Providence in Rhode Island. And it's gonna be heading out to Huntsville in Alabama. Next, moving over to the 550, starting off at the top, we have uh, the first one arrived in from Cincinnati in Ohio, and it's gonna be heading out to Newark in New Jersey. Uh, middle one has arrived in from St. Louis in Missouri, and it's gonna be heading out to Mobile in Alabama. And the last one uh, has just arrived in from Ottawa in Canada and is going to be heading out to Buffalo in New York. Next moving round to the mainline narrow bodies. So starting off here we have this Airbus A319. Um, the A319s are not flying that much into Washington Dallas as of late. Um, it's a shame because I have so many in my collection so I could have this whole row outfitted with A319s if I wanted to. Uh, but I've scaled back on how many A319s we have in this update just because they're not flying into Washington Dallas uh, that frequently. Um, as United go at Washington Dallas at the moment, uh, they are um, mainly doing the 737s uh, being the MAX and the NG uh, variants, um, both of which are in uh, frequent operation at Washington Dallas. But I've added a few Airbuses in 
uh, just to keep things interesting. Uh, so first off here we have this United Airbus A319. He's arrived from Nashville in Tennessee and is going to be heading out to Houston Intercontinental in Texas. Next here we have this United Boeing 737-900ER. This one has arrived in from Georgetown in the Cayman Islands and is going to be heading out to Orlando in Florida. Next here we have the United uh, 737 MAX 8. This aircraft has arrived in from Newark, New Jersey and is going to be heading out to Seattle in Washington. We then have this uh, United 737-800 arrived in from Boston in Massachusetts and is going to be heading out to Atlanta in Georgia. We then have another A319. This one has arrived in from New Orleans in Louisiana and is going to be heading out to Tampa in Florida. Next we have another 737-800. This one has arrived in from San Francisco in California and it's going to be heading out to Dallas in Texas. And then here we have this United uh, A320. Um, this aircraft um, has arrived in from Sacramento in California and is going to be heading out to Mexico City in Mexico. Um, again, we haven't had a release from any reputable brand uh, like NG or Gemini Jets um, of the A320 in the new livery yet. Uh, we've had, I think, Aero Classics make one, but I'm not going to pick up an Aero Classics model anytime soon. Um, the A320s and A319s in the real fleet of United uh, are one of the last aircraft to be repainted. You see a lot of them around at the moment um, with sort of, you know, scrapes all up the, uh, the side of them. They just do not look in the best of shape. Um, of course, mechanically, they're working fine. They wouldn't be flying if they weren't, um, but they just they, they are in dire need of a paint job. I think I'll add some clips in now of last summer when I went over to Washington Dallas. Some of the A320s I saw at Washington Dallas were bang to hell. Um, of course, as I just mentioned, they have scrapes all up them. The paint job is really wearing and they have mix matched parts as well. So certain pieces will be, you know, added with a new livery. So I think I saw one with an engine cowling that was in the new livery, but the rest was in the old livery. It was just a bit weird. So hopefully United starts uh, getting these painted up uh, pretty soon. But also the Mexico City route has reliably been on the A320 for literally years. Um, I want to say it's got to be over eight years now that it's just every Every day it's been on the A320. It's one of the only routes I can think of that has just reliably been on one set aircraft for like years and years. So um, yeah, that's the reason why this aircraft in particular is going to be heading out to Mexico City. Next up here we have the beautiful United Boeing 757-200. One of my absolute favorites. Um, I love to see this aircraft. I love to fly on this aircraft. I think I'm flying uh, some 75s this summer uh, with Iceland Air, which will be really nice. Um, I just absolutely love the 75s. Um, and for United, uh, they have both the 200 and the 300 in service. This is the 200, of course. And these are operating quite a bit out of Washington, Dallas, um, both domestically and internationally. We're getting them across the pond to some of the uh, lower uh, capacity European destinations. Uh, so the one I've chose, of course, is, of course, Edinburgh in the UK. Um, but these are also heading out to uh, Dublin, Lisbon, a few different destinations like that. Um, so yeah, this aircraft is going to be heading out to Edinburgh in the UK. Next up we have the uh, big brother of the Dash 200. Here we have the 757-300. Uh, these don't operate internationally that I know of. Um, they definitely don't operate internationally from Washington Dallas anyway. Um, these are just operating again high capacity domestic routes. Um, so these all operate to, you know, Chicago, Denver, San Francisco, Los Angeles, um, all of those different destinations. So this one in particular is going to be heading out to Los Angeles in California. And joining the 757-300 in its uh, high capacity domestic service, here we have the United uh, Boeing 777-200, the non-ER variant of the 222. Um, again, as I said, um, the 222ER, we haven't had a release of the new livery um, on the uh, 222ER, uh, but we have had this release, which is the uh, new livery on the non-ER variant of the 222s. As I said, these operate high demand domestic service, uh, primarily coast to coast. Um, but I believe we also get these out to Denver as well. Um, so this one is going to be heading out to San Diego in California. One of the more interesting routes, I think, um, that these aircraft fly on. Next up, here we have a very interesting aircraft. This is the 787-8. Unlike the Dash 9 and the Dash 10 variant of the 787, we are still getting quite a few of these Dash 8s um, into Washington, Dallas. And these are operating very interesting routes. Um, you get, of course, the boring European routes like Amsterdam and different places like that. But these are operating the new United flights to Africa. 
Um, United, in the last couple of years, have kind of um, expanded their international operations. Uh, so these are flying to a few of their interesting ones, um, such as Lagos. Um, they're also flying to Accra, and also it's not in Africa, but Amman as well in Jordan. Um, so this one is going to be heading out to Amman in Jordan today. And as well as that, these are one of the last aircraft, similar to the A320, um, these are one of the last aircraft that United have left to paint into the new color scheme. I don't believe there is a single uh, 787-8 painted into the new color scheme yet. Um, so hopefully United uh, paint these up pretty soon with the new colors. Next up here we have the 737 MAX 9. Um, again, uh, we haven't had a recent release of the MAX 9. Um, so this is uh, sporting the old color scheme. Um, we've had the uh, both the MAX 8 and the MAX 10 released of course in the new color scheme, but not the MAX 9 for some reason. Um, but this uh, MAX 9 um, is gonna be heading out to Cancun in Mexico. Then next up here we have this United uh, 737-800. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Portland in Oregon. And then last but not least, uh, we have the last um, uh, United aircraft at the gate. Uh, we have this United Airbus A319. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Windsor Locks in Connecticut. Next up here, just taxiing out to the runway, we have the British Airways Boeing 777-200ER. Um, this aircraft is, of course, going to be heading out to London Heathrow in the UK. This is the earlier British Airways flights. We get two daily uh, British Airways flights here at Washington Dallas. The earlier one is on the 222, and the later one is on the A380. It's pretty cool that British Airways have put the A380 on the later one because that means that simultaneously we get the British Airways A380 in and the Lufthansa A380. Um, it's pretty cool to see on Flight Radar 24 as the BA and Lufthansa A380s essentially follow each other over the pond and we get them both here at the same time. It's just a shame that British Airways parks one side of Concourse B and Lufthansa parks on the other side so you don't get that um, sort of, you know, next to each other comparison. It's a shame that they can't park next to each other, but there we go. Um, it's still pretty cool to see. Just holding short to the runway here, we have this uh, United 737-900ER, and um, this aircraft is gonna be heading out to uh, Orlando in Florida. And then last but not least here, ready for takeoff, we have this Air Canada 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is gonna be heading out to Vancouver in Canada. Um, this is a relatively recent addition for Air Canada. Um, they fly um, their express aircraft all year round um, up to Toronto and Montreal. Um, and then we get in the summer months, uh, we get mainline service up to Toronto and also Vancouver. And yeah, that does conclude this update of Washington Dallas. But before you go, I do have um, a couple interesting things to note about operations here at Washington Dallas. Uh, the first of which, Virgin Atlantic. Um, I missed this in the last update. They were actually um, flying this type of aircraft into the airport in the last update. I just, um, I recorded it a little bit in the past. Um, so when I actually published it, they were flying something else. But Virgin Atlantic are now flying the A350 into Washington Dallas, which is really, really cool. Uh, when we get to that time frame of updates, um, I can't wait to add the A350 into the update because I, of course I have that model available. Um, so I will add that into the update. Along with that, um, an airline that has been pretty consistent um, since its launch, Egypt Air, they've pretty reliably um, flown the 787-9 into Washington Dallas. For the first time, I think, ever, they've flown the 777-300ER into Washington Dallas, which is really interesting as, as I said, they uh, have flown the 787 into Washington Dallas all the time they've been here. Um, so to get a different type of aircraft is interesting. If this becomes a regular thing, I'm gonna need to buy an Egypt Air 333. And last but not least, another interesting uh, addition to Washington Dallas, uh, Ethiopian. Um, Ethiopian, again, they haven't really been reliable, um, but they've been reliable with sending the same three types of aircraft. Uh, they send the 777-200LR. Um, they also sometimes send the 333-300ER. Um, then the 787-8 and the 787-9. That's what they've sent into Washington Dallas in the past. Their only exception in their wide body fleet that doesn't fly into Washington Dallas um, is the A350-900. However, I believe again for the first time that I know of, uh, they have now flown their A350 into Washington Dallas. So again, that's another aircraft for me to buy. Um, but it's still pretty cool to see, um, and yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed this update, and um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.